Hello everybody, this is Matt of the Vang, bringing you a brand new episode of Cluster Clan series. Stick around, I will be doing gameplay right after this, but first of all I want to talk about my new army composition that I have made uh, just yesterday. And uh, I made this little table to compare our old army to our new army. So, first of all, our new army does have a little bit less HP in total. Uh, these numbers are total from all the troops. I use Clash Clan's army planner to get all these values. Uh, you can check it out in the description. Alright, so... Uh, first of all, it's decreased by 5,000. Now, that's not that big of a deal because all we did is we removed a lot of giants, so that is why it decreased. But now we have wizards, and that is what helps our total DPS, which is green on your screen. And you see that our new army layout has 4,485 damage per second, and our old one had a damage per second of 200 and, uh, or excuse me, two, uh, 2,376. Pretty much, we doubled our damage per second with the the new army and that is the main thing. The cost also got decreased by about 3,000 uh, elixir but that's not that big of a difference. Uh, just note that I will be changing the army a little bit uh, as the time goes on. This will be my first time using it today um, and uh, let's go ahead and enter Clash of Clans. Alright guys so we're in Clash of Clans. Uh, let's go ahead and tap our army camps and check it out. So. We have 8 wall breakers, decreased by 2. Alright, we have 15 uh, wizards, which is makes up half of the cost of our army, about 48,000 elixir is what it takes to train these um, 15 wizards. Then we have 50 archers, 39 barbarians, 20 goblins, and 3 giants to deter mortars and wizards. Now I might increase the giants and I can play around with this army, but this is my first time training it up. And uh, we don't have a league anymore, I don't know why. Uh, some people get kicked out of a league after 2 weeks, some people don't. So once we attack we're going to be placed in back into our league. I believe it is gold too. So let's go on the offensive. We're going to break the shield. Uh, not worrying about that because that's not that big of a deal. All right. Uh, let's go search for something that is, well, 150,000 elixir or more. Uh, but if there are tons of gold, a big amount of gold, then uh, we'll attack it as well. Again, uh, we have absolutely no worry about the air defenses, so that is not a problem anymore. Alright, so this is a pretty good one. Uh, not in terms of Dark Elixir, but uh, we do have two pretty exposed uh, Elixir storages and Gold storages over here. So I think we're going to attack this one. Uh, it will for sure cover the cost of our army and make a profit. Alright, so uh, let me pick the best side. So, um, since this is our first one, I'm going to be a little bit strategic and um, talk out loud. Alright, we got uh, Splash Damage here and splash damage here. So what I'm going to probably do is deploy all three giants on this side. Uh, let's break right through, right off the bat. Alright, we got the Barbarian King. That might cause some trouble. Alright, let's take him out with Barbarians and Archers. He should go down. Alright, maybe, yeah. Uh, okay, so I already noticed the problem with our army. We're going to have to have more uh, giants as the time goes on. Alright, so now I'm going to deploy Barbarians to take a splash damage and then right after them I will deploy Wizards. I don't know if that was a good idea to spam them like that, but we'll, we, we'll find out. So, uh, looks like they're moving pretty fast through all these defenses. Um, so shouldn't be a problem. Also, I would never looked at the clan castle. Uh, Alright, there they are. Wizard should be able to splash damage uh, all the troops in the clan castle, so that shouldn't be that much of an issue. The only issue that could possibly be is that the wizards could die to splash damage, and that is the biggest problem with this army. All right, I don't know. I don't know if this is going really great. Um, it's not going as I intended it to. Yeah, certainly not. <laughs> Oops. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to think of another army. Yeah. Not necessarily as I intended it to. Well, let's just deploy our clan castle. Please don't comment this is a fail attack. I already know it kind of is. Um, yeah. Well, actually, we got wizards right there, so... The only thing is, yeah, the damage from mortars and uh, wizard towers might be a little bit of an issue here. Come on, take that gold. Go at it, wizards. 
Yeah, uh, pretty vulnerable to defenses, pretty expensive. Uh, take a while to train as well. Alright, so we're going to have to end the battle here because we don't have any more resources. Uh, or, excuse me, not resources. We don't have any more troops, efficient troops that can uh, take anything on. Alright, let's see our outcome. So, 168,000 elixir. Yeah, alright, we covered the cost of our army plus made about 70,000 elixir. 69,000 gold. Eh, could have could have done better. Could have. Should have. Um, yeah. So... Alright, so next time we train up our army, we're going to have to use some giants, but as for now, uh, <laughs> the army does take an hour to train because I only have two barracks that can possibly take the wizards on. So I'm going to go ahead and train our, our healer giants army, and until I decide a good solid army, uh, I will be using healer giants. Alright guys, I'll be back with another raid. Alright guys, I'm back, and our army has almost finished training, just got the archer there. Um, while... The army was training. I did start an upgrade on this elixir storage because eventually we're going to have to have enough elixir to start an upgrade on our level 6 troops when I get to Town Hall level 9. So, uh, better get the elixir upgraded as fast as possible for now. Uh, the other 66,000 gold went into production of our lightning spells. And uh, thank you for noticing on my last video, I did say it takes 3 hours. Uh, three hours to uh, tra uh, not train them to make them but really it takes 30 minutes I forgot that they decreased the time by half so really only will take an hour and a half to make those uh, by the way try not to attack while I'm not uh, recording uh, I mean making videos so I rarely attack without making a video uh, so yeah just thought I'd throw that out there all right. Again, we're looking for plenty of gold, above 150,000 of each resource, or 300,000 of one resource, if possible at all. Uh, that w it was a really long time uh, since I had 300,000 uh, of a resource, but I did hit it once or so. All right. We're getting closer, but not there yet. I'm strictly looking for 150,000 plus. Do, 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 do. Also, I didn't know, I just found out yesterday that Town Hall Level 9s apparently have a fourth um, wizard tower now. I don't know since when, but apparently I never noticed that. Um, just uh, hit a few Town Hall Level 9s about a, a week ago and just visited some uh, people who attacked me and just saw that they have four anti or wizard towers. Can't talk today. Come on. Oh boy, this is taking a while to search. Alright, well while I'm searching, I'm going to tell you that our clan has reached um, 16,000 trophies, which is pretty awesome. Alright, so, um, please tell me this guy doesn't have three anti-air defenses. Um, I think he only has two. I think. Pretty positive about it. Yeah, but can we take him on? I don't know. A good question. I think we can, and uh, we will start with the clan castle guys and then the barbarian king. Now we have two uh, wizards left, and I'll deploy a wizard to do splash damage to the clan castle. So let's lure them out. No clan castle troops? Oh, alright. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> alright, so let's get our king uh, over here. No, nope. no boy, that was bad. Yeah, a wizard. I forgot. Uh, king can take out the wizard with one hit, so we're gonna have to use archers. All right, we're done with the king, and I think I'm gonna start my attack with this anti-air defense here. Pretty sure we're gonna lose our healer to the second one, but there's really nothing I can do about it. So let's go out all out with all our giants as usual. Uh, get the healer ready here. Uh, all right, healer down. All right, now I'm going to try not to make the mistake with uh, de deploying other troops too early. I'll let a few defenses go down, and then we'll start deploying. How about we deploy a little bit of them, just a, a few. All right, that's good enough for now. Uh, let's go uh, with um, more wall breakers. I want to get to the central, central compartment. All right, there we go. Uh, oops, too many wall breakers. I only need one. Oh, well. Alright, so 
Okay, I'm going to let the Giants enter the center. Once they take out at least two mortars, uh, I'll go ahead and deploy my uh, troops. Actually, let's deploy some barbarians on this side. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the wizard. And I'm going to deploy the rest of my archers. Because the healer will go down very soon. Uh, like in three seconds. Alright. Alright, I'm going to go with all my goblins, because there is absolutely no um, threats from any splash damage right now. Just the wizard tower right there, but I think we'll be fine. Uh, we might not be fine. I'll take that back. Yeah. You know, uh, back when I started this game, I do remember the times when the wizard towers, uh, they could only reach like a very short range, like right around them. Uh, that was back in, what, August, September, I want to say, when I started playing this game. Yeah, that was about the time when I started playing this game. Uh, those good old times. But it did improve a lot, I have to say. I'll have to admit that. Alright, so we're only going to carry one star with us today on this raid here. Because, well, we got an archer tower on this side. Or, <laughs> excuse me, let me take that back. We don't have an archer tower on this side. We have an archer, a single archer here. And then we have three defenses here, which certainly won't be able to be defeated by a single archer. Not going to help out with any more wall breakers. I'm going to save that one wall breaker. Not because I'm cheap, but because there's no... Uh, po point in deploying more. Three seconds, two seconds, uh, we're done with this one. As long as it took all the resources, I'm fine. Missed out on like 9,000 gold, but that's okay. Alright guys, thank you for watching today's video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. If you are subscribed, thank you very much. And you might have noticed that I did do a base redesign. I'm not sure if I mentioned at the beginning, but I did redesign it for the final third time. I'm going to stick with this one. Uh, the credit goes to me. Yep, I have not looked at any other bases or even uh, changed up the buildings. Completely made by me. Uh, no help from anybody else. Alright guys, uh, I will see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>